Hi Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Um, it's like a quiet energy around you when it comes to love. Uh, I don't, you know, maybe you're not saying a lot. You're, you're, maybe there's not a lot going on when it comes to love. I mean, you could be single. You could be in a relationship. We'll see. Okay, we have the high priestess was the first energy out. I feel like it's been quiet. I also feel like you're going through some form of a spiritual awakening right now. So for those of you who are really single, this reading could resonate for you because it's kind of looking like to me, like, and, and I say single doesn't mean you're like not dating anybody. Like, you know, you might not be in anything serious, but definitely some single people energy up in here. Um, the tower. So we have Pisces energy with the high priestess. We have Scorpio energy with the tower. We have Taurus energy with the hair fine. And then... <laughs> On the bottom of the deck, when I look down, is the Justice card. Oh, and underneath the Justice card is the Emperor. Here's the thing. This is what I think. I feel like you're going through, it's been really quiet. Nothing's really going on. You haven't met the person that you, you feel like you haven't met your divine partner yet. You're looking for your divine partner, or maybe some of you guys are not even looking. You're just like, okay, I'm living my life. I'm having a great ball. Things have been quiet. <laughs> You're going through some form of spiritual ascension for sure. For there's like powerful like angel energy around you. So some I could be talking to someone here who's very religious, or like you could be very spiritual, you know, and in your own way. I just I don't know. I just feel like you guys are looking for commitment. But the point is, with all of these major arcana cards out here, <laughs> you're about to get karmic justice and it may be a divine masculine. If you could be a divine masculine, you know, getting karmic justice too. But I feel like it's going to be good. Whatever's getting ready to come towards you is going to be very great. It's going. It, I mean, it's sent from heaven above. You know, that reminds me of Keisha Cole. Sent from heaven. You know what I'm saying? Karmic justice. Something's getting ready to be sent from heaven. Um, you. you and I split in the deck. Look at that. Gemini energy. Somebody could be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. Let's shuffle and see what else is going on. What else? What else? What's the energy for the collective? I just feel like you've been protecting your energy. Like I said, you, you, you're you not entertaining anything that, you know, you're not entertaining anybody that's just casual. I'm not saying you're not going out on casual dates. I'm saying, like, you date with intent. You're moving with intent. You move very intentionally, you guys. You, you're you not, like... If you know somebody's not your person, you're not wasting any time with them. Um, very focused individual. You could be... Some of y'all could be focused on school, work, money, you know, your children. For, some, for those of you who are single parents. What else do we have for the collective? Show me the energy surrounding the collectors when it comes to love, please. I don't know. I just feel like you guys have really just been folk. Yeah, six of cups. Interesting. Okay. I feel like you're very happy. I feel like you're happy. I feel like you're on a spiritual journey right now, doing a lot of inner healing work. Doing a lot of, in you're like rebuilding yourself, I feel like, from the inside out. And that required for you to do a lot of inner healing work show me what else here this could also be like a a soulmate energy here too that's being gifted to you a new connection that could be a soulmate show me more here for the collective when it comes to love that that justice card is popping back out again like, you're just about to get your karmic justice. I know if you feel like it's been stagnant, quiet, you haven't met your person yet, show me more here. That's why. You know? Ooh, it's too many, Spirit. Hold on. Show me more here for the collective when it comes to love, please. Yeah, you. whoever wronged you, brought you drama. Yeah. Let, let, let me finish. Hold on. Because now we have the Justice card, the Five of Wands, and Temperance out here. I feel like 
whoever did you wrong, your angels, they're getting their karma. This could be family members. This could be friends. This could be past lovers. Yeah, your karmic justice is this. Two of, two of, two of cups. Um, also, too, though, I feel like out of nowhere, if it's been quiet, like I said, and you haven't been dating anybody, like I feel like you're about to have options. I feel like you're about to have multiple, multiple options. Unexpectedly, you don't, you don't really see this coming. But you, th this is the thing. Anybody, like I was saying earlier, if anybody did you wrong in the past in a relationship, if they didn't realize who you were, they didn't understand your worth, or they treated you in such a way that was disrespectful, or, uh, you know, because it, it, it can't go both ways. It's not always just one person. But for those, of, for the people who, um, how can I say this? You know, they just, they knew you were a divine counterpart, and they just looked the other way, and they chose somebody else, or they, did, they didn't choose you for whatever reason. They're about to get their karma. You know, 2024 is like the year of karma, I feel like. Those of you, you know, who have, and, and directly next to the Five of Wands is this temperance energy. And right after that is this Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is falling underneath the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate connection coming in here. Very spiritual, very balanced energy, very calm. We have the Hierophant and the High Priestess here. It's getting ready to come towards you unexpectedly and shockingly. You just don't see this coming. Like, look at this powerful energy between you and this person. Like, this is, look at this. The, the high priestess and the Hierophant. I don't even know why it took me so long to realize that. I'm focused on other stuff. I don't, you know, it just happens. You know, as readers, that's just what happens. But this is a strong connection energe energetically you might be feeling this person's energy already you may not have even met them but they're definitely a past life soulmate somebody that you I feel like have had a past life with several times honestly several times somebody here could have, could be in the process of healing like I said okay the, maybe the both of you guys are in the process of healing somebody could have recently gotten a divorce at some point um, but something very fair and balanced and loving, like this is a gentle being, a gentle spirit. So like if you're the divine feminine, you're the high priestess, right? The divine masculine here is the hair upon. This is like two peas in a pod. You may look different, but the two of you are the same. This could even be a twin. You know what I'm saying? Like an ascended twin, whatever this connection is, this is high level ascension. This is, this is a high level connection. This is a high level connection here. I, I don't know any other way to put it with the Hierophant being here, the Tower, the High Priestess, the Justice card, and Temperance. This is this is gonna be a bond nobody's gonna be able to. This is a protected connection. There are gonna be some people jealous. Some people are not gonna like this connection. You're, I just, let's, let's see what, what else here. Let's move to a different date real quick. Because I just want to see something. Show me more here. Children, okay. So someone may have children, okay. You may have children. This person may have children. You could have <laughs> children, be having children with this person, okay. I just dropped a card and it fell. This person is long distance here. Um, they could, like I said, the two of you, somebody here could be a totally different race, right? This could be not like, be like not your typical type. There's definitely some distance between you and this person. So I don't feel like you've met them yet. So they may from, be from another country. I mean, they're somewhere abroad, right? Because there's water here. There's a ship. I feel like you maybe you've been expecting this person because this person is like standing on the shore watching this boat. It's like she knows it's coming this way. She knows it's coming her way, right? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you this is a divine gift from God. 
with the hair font and the temperance lining up with each other this is this is this is a spiritual connection like this is not this is a higher level i don't think it's been a very very long time since i've seen a spread out here like this I, and this card this this is also a surprise this literally says surprise and we've already talked about how this is going to be a surprise to this is going to be a shock to you maybe because like i said it's been so quiet Show me more here. Hmm. Yeah, I think you guys are already like feeling each other's energy. Some of y'all may even be dreaming about this person. This person could have dreamt about you. Somebody here could have blonde hair, and another person could have like brown, uh, brown auburn hair. Um, or someone has like a lighter color hair, so like their hair is lighter colored than you. But somebody here, I feel like, is so laid back. They're a kindred soul, very nurturing, like kind hearted, gentle person. Like, I'm getting like gentle giant energy from this, which is, you know, gentle giant. What else do we have for the collective, please? Yeah, friendship. You and this person may um, meet out and about, you know, with friends, hanging out. You may meet this person through some form of acquaintance or a friend of a friend. This person could be in your same network. I mean, it would make sense because, like I said, I feel like the two of you like the same things. There are a lot of similarities here. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's something familiar about this energy, the, the two of you. Yeah. A friend of yours may even, I don't know, introduce you to this person or something. Or this could just be you and this person having a connection where you're very close friends. You know, like, you know how some people, they fall in love and they're lovers? Well, there are connections where people actually fall in love with their best friend. Like, this is legit their best friend. Like, no cap. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of chemistry and passion with this person. Look at this. Just, didn't I say gentle giant earlier? Look at these muscles, honey. He's got his hands wrapped around her like he will not let her go. This person is not going to be letting you go. You're not going to be letting this person go. I feel like this masculine cries. Like, this is the type of person, this is the type of masculine who is not afraid to cry, is not a, afraid to show emotion. You know, I, again, I was getting a very, like, gentle, giant energy with this person. Like, whoever this person is, this masculine, they don't look like what they are on the outside. Like, the, 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 the outside appearance is like... You would probably think this person, I don't know, was like a wrestler or like looking like uh, the brawny man on the paper towel. What's his name? The lumberjack. But he's a big softy. He does not care about showing emotion, about showing his divine feminine love. He, he, this is, this reminds me of Drake. Drake has a song called, um, um, what is, I think, is it Rich Baby Daddy? Where Drake is like, um, I got some love on me. Hey, please bring it out of me. Please bring it out of me. Like, this is, this divine masculine, like, really is like, please bring it out of me. He's waiting on the right person that he can, like, literally bring, bring it out, okay? Like, he's waiting on the right person. Look at this. Look at this energy, you guys. I'm so happy we don't have like a bunch of karmic energy out here. There, yeah. This is a strong, protected, spiritual connection. You've been with this person before in many, many lifetimes. You and this, this person could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. This is somebody here who's very smart. They're coming out as like a king of swords energy. Very intelligent, masculine, you know. And, and again, didn't I say earlier, gentle giant? Look at how tall this guy is. 
You, you know what I'm saying? There could be an age difference. He's got gray, pretty, you know, gray hair. He looks a little older. He could be a boss. This person could have fair skin. Or this person could be a manager, a business owner, or an entrepreneur, okay? Whoever this person is, this is good. This is good. Okay, let me switch decks and see what else is going on here. Can you show me more here for the collective about this connection? Any other details? <sighs> Two of Cups. One person may be lighter skin and the other person may be darker skin toned, okay? I just feel like somebody here is from a different country. They're a different race. Um, but the two of you have so much in common, regardless of where you're from or where you were born or what your religion is. I feel like the two of you will see eye to eye, regardless if somebody is, you know, Buddhist or Christian, you're still going to have the same values. You and this person are, yeah, look at that. Somebody here is like a very, a spiritual guru, like very wise, v very wise here. All right, show me more here, please, for the collective. Somebody is walking away from something here. So it took you the strength to walk away from a lot of burdens with this Ten of Wands and the straight card, Leo energy. Sagittarius energy is out here too with tempers. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I feel like it's taking somebody all the strength and the courage in them to let go of some past burdens. I don't know if this is you or this person, but yeah, look at that. <laughs> the star card and the nine of cups just came out. Because you were, were obedient or you listened to spirit or you trusted your intuition, you, you, you hung in there. You know, you let go of the baggage of the past or some of y'all for real, for real, maybe you just moved or like you moved on from something. You moved on from something and you weren't happy or this person did. Doing that brings this in. This Aquarius energy here and this Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the Nine of Cups. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I know that to be true because in order to get to the Nine of Cups, this is total wish fulfillment. This is double confirmation for you guys, okay? Double confirmation. Um... <laughs> Wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm really speechless. I really haven't seen a reading quite like this. Um, So, in order to get to the Nine of Cups, right, you got to be in that Eight of Cups energy. You're not happy. It's time for you to walk away. Have, you know, you, you want to walk, you, you don't, whatever it was that you used to be in or whatever relationship you were dealing with, it wasn't working for you how you were showing up in relationships and connections in the past, like maybe you were an overgiver. Maybe you were an empath in a narcissist empath dynamic or something. You know, some of y'all were could have been in abusive relationships. So some of you guys could have been in false karmic twin flame connections, you know, um, just what, married and getting divorced. Whatever it was, it was a bag. It was baggage. It was very overwhelming for you. There were, you you know, there were too many obligations or and not enough help or you didn't feel like you were being treated uh, with the, the respect that you deserve, you know what I mean? Um, or you were being breadcrumbed, uh, you know, everybody's situation is different, but you were strong enough to let go of these burdens and move on. You know, somebody's moving on. They have the strength and the courage to do so. And Spirit is saying, you know what? Because you have the strength and the courage to do this, somebody made it all the way through a whole entire karmic cycle. They're spiritually ascending, and I'm guaranteeing you that both of y'all went through this. That's how you're going to have mutual respect for each other and be best friends. Because had you not went through whatever, I feel like you and this masculine, you and this feminine are going to be able to talk about that journey. Y'all are going to be able to talk about that, that ten of wands. <clears throat> You're going to be able to talk about how you, it changed you and made you stronger and you didn't think you were going to make it, you know, but you did, 
You just kept praying, hoping, and wishing, and manifesting, and you made the changes you needed to, to make. You you put yourself in that Eight of Cups energy, and you walked away from the confusion. You walked away from the drama, the Five of Wands energy. You know, you you walked away from the Devil energy, the toxicity, and the and the codependency, and the third party drama and stuff. You know what I mean? And this is how you get to that Nine of Cups because you did that. And look at you on the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords. The Ice King is out here. This is your soulmate, which is the, the King of Swords, by the way. I'm going to pull from a different deck. This is a serious connection. The star is falling underneath Temperance and the Hierophant right now. Spirit has their hand all over this connection. Like, this is wow. Like, this is talk. This reminds me of like the two of y'all dying together. Like, you know, this is giving me vibes of like, what's the girl's name? Jack. Jack and old girl from um Titanic. Or uh, what's the guy's name in the other movie? What movie was that? The the notebook. They died together. Uh oh. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, here's another card of attraction. This person's gonna be really attracted to your confidence. I feel like this person's so gentle, and I feel like they're they're more of an introvert than you. I feel like this masculine. It's just going to be so like, you know, like, it's like, wow, when they, when they see you, when they look at you, when they watch you talk and they watch you move and like, they're just going to be in awe of like your confidence here. They're going to be very captivated by your, you know, your, your inner beauty, but like even by your intellect, like, look at this energy. It's your energy, not just your beauty. It's the energy that you exude. This high priestess energy is very like, hello. It's it's like, I don't need to say much. Okay. <laughs> but I know. All right. Show me more here. Yeah. Um, There are some inner fears about this. Maybe this is too, yeah, higher self. I'm telling you. What are you doing? Okay. Pause, 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 pause. Let's, t let's talk about this, you guys, because this is important. Because I don't want you to sabotage something, like, wonderful. You know what I mean? You have free will. If, if, if the divine is giving this to you, I feel like, you, you know, like, I, I don't know. You might just see this person in the next lifetime if you are sabotaging this. Don't sabotage it based on your own inner... Uh, fears that are not real you know what I mean because it's time for you to face to face that okay um I feel like you guys have been recognizing what's been holding you back from attracting a healthy relationship and you've done all this work because look at this these came out together uh inner fears and higher self and this is what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. Like, you guys are ascending, spiritually ascending, dropping all these bag, uh, this baggage and these burdens and these things that don't matter anymore. Um, trust your highest self, okay? Trust your highest self. Yeah, but you're having control issues here. You're, you're, you're having control issues. Slow, just, just slow down. Your answers are, this is your prayer's answer. Please allow the divine to take the lead with this. Look at you. Look at you getting what you asked, getting what you prayed for and what you asked for. <laughs> Spirit said, okay, you, this is what you wanted, right? You walked away. You did the work. Okay, great. Here you go. You can have it. You, you earned it. You deserve it. And then here you go trying to control something. No, don't do that, you guys. Please don't do that. Um, yeah, 
I love this energy. I told you this person's very captivated, captivated by your energy. It says love at first sight. The instant gravitational pull the two of you will feel when you first meet lets you know that this is a soul connection. Yeah, the Six of Cups is here. I mean, hey, every spiritual card is out here on the table. The High Priestess, the Hierophant, Temperance, uh, Justice. <laughs> The only negative card here is this Five of Wands. But I feel like that Five of Wands is your inner fear, your inner conflict. Is this too good to be true? I can't believe it. This feels too good to be true. Uh, or that's, you know, everybody from the past uh, getting their karma. Or people from the past that didn't choose you and they should have chose you because they prayed for you. And then you came along and then they fumbled that, that bag. And then it's like they're getting karma watching you move on with this new person who's never going to let you go. They're going to love you right. Baby. <laughs> they're going to love you right. This is beautiful. Congratulations. I'm like Tyrese. Y'all remember that meme Tyrese had um, when he was crying? I don't remember when it's old. He was crying like... Congratulations, but it was kind of hate. It was shade a little bit. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy for y'all. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a very comforting, loving connection. Um, it's then gonna literally be like a movie. Like, you're gonna bring out the best in each other. This person is the yin to your yang. This is person is the yin to your yang. This person, I'm t the laughter shared between soulmates warms the spirit in a way no cope could ever. Soulmate, 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 soulmate. <sighs> Let's pull a few more. Listen and reflect. So instead of you trying to have control issues here, spirit is saying that you need to have listen with an opening ear. Okay. Um, you know. It says, what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. So I feel like this person is definitely going to be patient. They're going to be a, a kind hearted, like I said, very gentle giant. They're going to be a great listener here. Um, very patient. We do have temperance out here. Like this is a very angelic person. I feel like, and I feel like <laughs> this person is like an introvert and you're more of the extrovert, right? This is so crazy good. Children's out here twice. Somebody's having kids or someone already has children. Children are a significant factor in your love life. This may signify the desire of them or someone's inner child needing attention. So make sure you're still caring to your inner child, which I don't feel like you have really. I mean, we always need to cater to our inner child, no matter how old we, we grow, right? Uh, because that's healthy. I feel like this person is going to feed your inner child. This person is, it, the connection is going to feel so familiar, right? You know, look at, look at all this familiar, fun, loving, kind, gentle energy here. Uh, I think that's what this is. Because to some degree, the both of you have done a lot of work. And I feel like the two of you are just going to feed each other's soul on a, a, a totally whole nother level here. And but you may really have some kids or this person may already have children. OK, so keep that in mind for those of you who are wanting children. There's a possibility for that here um, or you could be blending families. Right. This is good. This is like food to the soul. You know, like this connection is going to feed your soul. It's going to feed your soul. Last card. Final shot. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if, okay? So this is Spirit saying, hey, final shot. There may be some nervousness, you know, with this person because when they see you, they may think, you know, like, wow, you know, they are going to be pretty captivated by you and it's going to be love at first sight. So there could be some nervousness with this person approaching you. Uh, you know, uh, I feel like also, too, it's like... Don't you miss the boat. You know, don't you sabotage something. Don't you judge a book by its cover here. You know what I'm saying? Because time is ticking. <laughs> some of y'all feel like your biological clock is ticking and you're like, okay, because some of you do want kids. Yeah. 
So, you know, take a risk, take a chance. Don't be in control. You don't have to be in control. Don't, you know, allow your inner fear, fear to take the wheel. Don't do that. I'm going to leave this reading there. This is beautiful. I love y'all. Hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here, okay? Bye.